Hey, welcome to part 16 of my Learn to DJ vlog here at Digital DJ Tips. Behind the scenes stuff is we film our new flagship DJ training course, The Complete DJ. So today's lesson is a very, very simple one. It's come about because of two things. One, a few questions that have come into our inbox this week that have been similar to each other, and they've gone something like this. I'm a bit scared that I'm getting stuck in my practicing. I'm getting stuck in my DJ. I'm not moving forward. And I think if I buy insert name of new piece of gear here, or insert name of new piece of software here, I think if I buy that, I'm gonna start improving again. Do you think I ought to spend the money, okay? That's the first thing. And the second thing is, I was in Amsterdam yesterday with Laidback Luke, and uh, we had a meeting, we were chatting, DJing, talking music, and it reminded me that the top guys do not spend their time sweating about the gear. They're not looking for something new to upgrade to to improve their DJ. They're not trying to switch software platform for the hell of it. Why? Because they know everything about the gear they've got and they know its possibilities and they're concentrating on all the other important stuff. So what does this mean for you as a DJ who might be struggling in your practicing, who might be stuck? Well, it's really, really simple. Make sure you understand everything that your gear does and nowadays that also means your software. If you're a Tractor user, do you know what Tractor Remix decks do or what all your effects do or what the stems do? If you're a Serato user, have you experimented, experimented with Serato Flip yet? It's awesome. Have you played with that or have you played with the new stuff they've added to the sampler? And I could go on, but the point is, this isn't anything about having a great music collection, you know, knowing where to go to get the best tunes. It's not about silky technical skills. It's not about being able to perform so everyone just thinks you're the man or the woman in the DJ booth. And it's not about networking and knowing whose palms to press to get the right gigs. It's not about any of that stuff. It's just about reading the manual. It's just about pressing the utility menu on your gear and seeing what the hell all that stuff does, right? Anyone can do it. So if you're not doing it, you really are missing a trick. So. Read the manual, take a look at those menus you don't normally look at, play with the buttons you don't play with, try some new effects, spend some time doing that and you might find that that is the thing that unlocks your DJing and gets you unstuck without you spending loads more money on new gear or new software. Okay, so that's it. If you've enjoyed this, please like, follow, share, notify, subscribe, do all that stuff. But also underneath, please let me know what you think about this tip and trick in our Learn to DJ series. I'll be back with another vlog next time.